I think we face a bigger crisis than ever before. I'll give you three inescapable facts. First is we are using more than one planet worth of resources. We are using 1.5 equivalent planet Earth. And soon it will be two planets Earth. So we are eating away our natural capital. At the same time, 85% of that consumption is done by the richest 20% of the world's population. So the affluent in the world, not only in the rich countries, but also in the emerging countries. The hundreds of millions of Chinese and Indians and Brazilians. And all. They are consuming more than one planet worth. And at the same time, we are promising one and a half billion poor people that we will raise them out of poverty. Where are the resources to do it? And very soon, as you see in many countries, you have unrest. Even the Arab Spring, the primary cause was shortage of food and inequality. So this kind of unrest is going to grow. And how do you manage it? I think you need bold solutions. What can the young people of today do? This is a real challenge within a, a, a reasonable framework. I think there are a lot of issues. They may not be political issues, but there are environmental and social issues. And if they, I think, are bold enough and find the right approaches, whether it's Occupy Wall Street or something else, I think they can bring about change. We don't need to agonize about the perfect model of sustainable development. Maybe there is not. But we can do things today as individuals to make development more sustainable. Always make it better. Climb the mountain even if you can't see the peak, because eventually you will get there. This is a message of empowerment for people who are, feel disenfranchised, who say, look, I, I will leave it to my minister to make a decision. No. I think that company or that employee or that person in the street can make a difference. Uh, and whether they switch off the light or they uh, eat less meat or something, right? So many things can be done. The second thing is the triangle. Again, in 1992, I proposed this for the first time. You have economic, social, environmental. And always remember the balance must be preserved, uh, that you cannot live only on monetary profits, and we can see the crash of 2008 was caused by greed, excessive focus on the economic side, neglecting also the social aspects and uh, the environmental aspects, and everything is driven by greed, and it is also driven, uh, socially, greed and selfishness are the driving values. We have economic maldevelopment, which is based on debt, which is driven by the greed, right? And the economic maldevelopment, the debt, also causes an environmental problem because we are using up resources today, which our children and grandchildren will have to pay for. So you have an unsustainable triangle instead of what I described. And the third principle, of course, is changing values, which is something that young people have to do. I think the values that have been inherited uh, in the present generation are quite unsustainable. Uh, debt is an example that our grandparents believed in savings so that they could uh, invest and then we, their grandchildren, benefit from that. We have discovered a different truth. Instead of saving, we are borrowing from our grandchildren and living even better. But what will our grandchildren do? Okay? So we have to break those kinds of habit patterns. We are looking for things that give happiness and well-being without being material consumption oriented. So you need a certain amount of consumption, but then there are other things which give you happiness. And so if we also bring to the notice of people that it is not only GNP growth that is important, but these other things like leisure, the social relations, that's where social responsibility comes in, the quality of the environment, then you can have well-being 
without being hooked only on material consumption. So that is where the Millennium Consumption Goals come in. It's one brick in trying to bring about change, but I think we can bring about that change. The only question is, we are going down a slippery slope, can we do it fast enough before we fall off?